So we wow. all had rules growing up, and I'm sure we thought some of them were stupid. So let's go around the room. Let's talk about the stupid rules our parents gave us growing mm-hmm. up, because I have a list of terrible rules these kids had growing up with, and we'll go into that in a little bit. For me personally, the one rule I always hated, my parents are very, very strict and very protective of me, right? So like, I had friends that would like hop on their bikes and ride their bikes up and down the block, but I was only allowed in the field of vision of my house. What? Okay. Now to explain that, like I if my parents could not see me from the main window in the living room outside in front of the house, I was in trouble, right? Mm. Plain and simple. Now the thing was about my house was that on the left side it was open and you can see like over into the next yard a little bit. So I was able to like go in my next door neighbor's house. Mm-hmm. But on the right side, I had a bunch of trees blocking that view. So honestly, I was only like I was I was taking away a whole house length of like, you know, playing area to go hang out with and stuff like that. So I never understood why I couldn't go riding bikes with my friends, especially like we're all the same age and stuff like that and everyone's up and down the block all day and stuff mm. like that. Like and I would just get in trouble. I thought it was the stupidest thing. I never understood it. And to this day I will still argue it. I don't get it as an adult. I, I don't get it at all, man. I don't know why I couldn't go riding up and down the block, man. Whatever, man. Whatever. I'm not holding a grudge. Not much. I, not had, much. I didn't have any real <laughs> rules have like that. Like, such a hard childhood, man. Let me tell you. I can't so, do so, anything. I'm shocked that uh, you had that rule, Mikey, because you're a bit a little older than me. Right. People from like our generation, it seems like... Uh, we didn't have those sort of like you can't go trick or treating. You can't ride your bike. No, not with my dad. (laughs) Not with my dad, dude. My dad was the complete opposite. If if you can take anything fun away from me, he did it. Let me tell you. Wow. Oh yeah. Uh, Wow. mm -hmm. Can't believe this. Yeah. No. My my dad was no fun. Let's sing it, guys. Let's sing it. It's so hard to be together. Na 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 na. Does anyone know this song? No. 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 I've okay. never heard this song in my life. All right. I just wanted to sing along. Oh, okay. Thought it would be fun. It was it was harmonic. I give it to you guys. There Yippee. you go. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> We're next karaoke. All right. <laughs> Stay tuned next week for karaoke. All right. <laughs> All right. So who wants to go and tell me about their uh their their stupid rule from childhood? Was Justine not talking? No, I was just kind of uh you know adding back and onto Mikey's. Yeah, he was topic. saying how it was you know weird that. Considering my age and all of that, uh, since I'm old, uh, you would think I would have had more freedom growing up, like we did. Like most kids did my age. No, not me. I was complete opposite. So. Wow. Yeah, fun. Lots of fun. That's why I'm so bitter about it. Let me tell you. So, Justin. I guess I'll go. Yeah, I mean, if you want. I want to talk to strangers. <laughs> you want to talk to strangers? Okay. And mother would not allow me to talk to strangers. <laughs> D- does mother still not let you talk to strangers? Mother doesn't allow me to talk to anybody. <laughs> In fact, mother is watching me at all times. There she is. Oh, oh God. Mother. Where are you Hi, Miss Greenberg. I don't want to wear the sailor suit, Special mother. Oh, I'm a grown man. Well, not the sailor suit. So... I actually didn't have much rules growing up, as you could tell. I'm kind of a free spirit, man. Yeah. And we were able to watch oh, everything. Sorry. I mean, we watched we watched South Park. We watched RoboCop, Terminator. Uh, I remember seeing uh, breasts when I was very young. Nope. Not my mother's. I'm talking about, like, from movies. We <laughs> Another watched, one. Another high five. <laughs> we watched the movie Stripes with Bill Murray, and there's a lot of naked women in it. Okay. So, another, <laughs> another high five. One. Another high five. All right. So, like, we didn't really have any rules, and it was kind of weird going to other people's houses and I was a bit confused. I was like, oh, you guys aren't allowed to watch illegal pay-per-view or you guys aren't allowed to play with toy guns and do this sort of stuff. So, yeah, we didn't have any structure really in our house. Anytime my parents tried to ground me, that didn't last because, like, go to your room. Oh, you mean the room with all my toys and, like, 
pornographic movies? Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> Wait, why did you own another, oh, another high five? Another high five for pornographic movies. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but yeah, I just like. And uh, no, my mom is listening. Mom, it was for the toys, not no. It was for the toys. Yeah. Relax. It was for the toys. Like, uh-huh, it was for the toys. Right. Right. Undisclosed. Undisclosed toys. location. <laughs> but yeah, we just didn't really have much, much structure, much rules. I don't know what the reasoning behind that is. I don't think it like turned out too bad because some some people have like very strict rules when they're growing up right and then they end up being awful people there's no real like r- like balance really from what i've noticed i've i've talked to people that were brought up very strict and then they end up being like severe drug addicts and then i i True. see the other way where people are given a lot of freedoms and they also end up like drug addicts or you know they end up i know a lot of drug addicts as well it I'm just depends now. on the kid <laughs> <laughs> i know a lot of drug addicts it, it depends on the kid i think it also depends on like the parents sort of having conversations about certain things. I think honesty is a real good policy when it comes to parenting. I'm not a parent, so I really can't say, but I I figured if I was a parent, I would say things, you know, straight up. I'd be like, listen, you're probably going to smoke crack at some point in your life. What? I don't know. (laughs) uh, uh, Crack? Okay. That's a very big jump. I thought you were talking about, like, it's okay to make mistakes. Sometimes you're going to do something horrible to someone. Nope. nope. Sometimes you you get to smoke rocks. Sometimes you just uh, just (laughs) smoke crack. Sometimes you just get to smoke rocks, apparently, according to Justin. But I know. Dad of the year right here, let me tell you. I had so much fun growing up, though. Like, I loved watching movies. Movies with my dad. We would watch like Predator, and we would watch you know all these gory like action movies, Die Hard, and all this stuff. I wouldn't trade that for the world. I love that sort of stuff. And in this day and age, you know, I'll take my cousins for example. I love them, but they weren't allowed to watch certain things. Right. And then I would have conversations with them, you know, at like Thanksgiving and Easter, and they're telling me the most ruthless stuff ever. I'm, they weren't even allowed to watch Nickelodeon, and what? they're telling me like horrendous stories dropping like horrible bombs and like crazy words and just like what the hell how do you know this stuff they're 10 and 11 <laughs> they years old they're to- gonna find out <laughs> regardless if they're hidden their friends are gonna show them uh somehow they're gonna be able to find out so i'd rather you know have if i was a parent per se i would rather watch the movies with the kids and sort of explain okay like this is just a movie uh or this is just a video game i agree but you know what that would require effort out of parents yeah <laughs> yeah that's very true that would require effort and honestly a lot of parents i see nowadays don't give the effort i think so. the lamest excuse is when people blame other things on national tragedies. Like if there's a violent act and somebody goes, well, he was watching Mortal Kombat. Stop or or like he was listening to, nonsense. you know, Marilyn yeah, Manson. Plays. Manson. But there are millions and millions of people that play those video games, that watch those movies, yeah, that sure. listen to those to that music, and exactly. then didn't Everything's cause fine. a tragedy. Exactly. It's- but then there's also people that have never played those games. and You think Hitler was playing Grand Theft Auto? No. Correct. There, there's <laughs> bad people in the world, no, 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 and there are going to be no. bad people in the world. <laughs> Hitler was definitely playing Grand Theft Auto. How? He time-traveled. He lived like 40 years but, before it came out. The but, mice helped him time-travel. Time-travel. Exactly. Time travel. Okay. The Wake mice. up, America. I right. was online with him last week. Oh, no. All right. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, we're talking about rules growing up and <laughs> rules that we absolutely hated. I don't know how we got onto Hitler playing Grand have thought of but it we did we got there we went there and it's there um so <laughs> who else wants to tell me about a rule that they hated growing up because i got a list of them from a bunch of kids that say that were i, I read i read through this list and it's stupid i i can't who wants to go next tell sounds me. like elliot wants to go All right, after elliot, that quickly. huge sigh and the fact that his hands are in there right, let me hear it come on <laughs> first para sempre mi madre okay See. okay bilingual for um for those people who don't know Spanish, I'm gonna translate. Okay, what did go you ahead. say again? Para In sempre, English, I will love you, mom. Okay, for yeah, I, I will love you, mom, forevermore. Okay, you're so, welcome. Good. Wow, you're really good at this, Sandy. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, I try, you know. So a stupid rule I had growing up, man. Yeah. I love my sister. Right, come on, man. Okay. It out. You're dragging it out. Uh, too much. Where's this going? <laughs> You know, I'm always care for my sister. Uh huh. But okay. I will never bring my sister around the guys. Okay, that's fine. The stupid rule I had growing up: mm-hmm. I always had to bring my sister with you to the links. Uh, yes, all of the time. My sister had to be there, or I couldn't go. It wasn't. It was like all the, like if I went to the mall, like she didn't have to go. But if it was like outside, like bring your sister. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, if I went to the mall, I would have to bring my sister or I couldn't go. Oh, uh, that was that's your stupid rule too. It's, yes. Okay. Yes. I, I don't know what it is. It's well, just I'm the youngest I'm the younger sister. And right? my sister would bring me to the mall and I'd be like, This is the best day of my life. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that is I love you. So. Yeah, my sister oh, is not that appreciative. I'm sure she was. It usually ends I'm sure with your her. sister wasn't that appreciative either. Yeah. <laughs> it usually ends with her like, you know, Getting herself lost in the biggest mall in New York. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> okay. This is no. That's that's not what would happen with Emmy. No, that that's not what would happen. We would play football. She would want to play, and then I would tell her, "You're gonna get hurt." She'd be like, "No, I'm fine." Gets hurt, goes to mom, and then mom's like, "Why did your sister get hurt?" And I'm like, <laughs> "So uh, just a never winning battle for just, you." Just exactly. Oh my god. Yo, when we had Nerf guns and like uh-huh. we would play, she would have to play with us. Okay. And I would be like, no, like, I don't want her here. No. <laughs> like, no. Yo, every time the homies would come play 2K, uh-huh. she would have to play. So your parents just I mean, included But her. the only good thing about that was was that I would always win. <laughs> That's a okay. little bit of an ego boost for you there. Okay. So, so it was like. It was kind of like, okay. So dragging your sibling around, unfortunately. Okay, all right. Yeah, my parents wanted me and my siblings to be close so bad. So bad. Did that work and out for both of you? No. Are you guys close to your siblings? No. I, I'm, I'm pretty close to, to Emmy. Okay. She's just not close to me. Okay. <laughs> that sucks. I'm sorry to hear. No, yeah. Me oh, and okay, my siblings okay. are not close at all. Oh, but not in the slightest. All right. I hear her like ch- chatting all day with her friends, and it's like, oh my God. Be quiet for <laughs> one minute. Just her I, talking is just irritating. I don't Love care it. what Sarah did to you at lunch today. <laughs> Seriously, just be quiet. Oh, I'll be oh the opposite. I, I'll, be in, I'll, I'll be in all her business. I'll be asking her friends what she be doing at school. <laughs> that is so freaking funny. That's like, terrible. It's like at that point where like my sister is doing things that I didn't even dream of back in middle school. In middle school, people were making fun of me. Yeah, right. And now I'm hearing her make fun of people and I'm like, bro. Messed up. Messed up. Teach it better. Teach your better. It's your job. Sophia, tell me about a rule that you hated as a child. (laughs) You're supposed to help her. You're the oldest sister. You're not your parent. Help Um, her. uh, Fine. (laughs) I'll try. I'll try. Good. Sounds good. Um, When me, like, I growing up lived next to my cousins. Uh And, like, when we would go, like, ride our scooters. I had a scooter. My cousin had a bike. Okay. And, like, sometimes we would like switch but it was like kind of a like low thing for my cousin like my cousin didn't want to have the scooter (laughs) so like they would cry and come to my mom and my mom would be like Sophia you need to stop like you're the older one but I'm older than like two weeks so like two weeks is crazy maturity how two weeks of maturity all right two how, weeks. how is that possible <laughs> <laughs> you had two more weeks to live two more yeah. weeks yeah and then I had I had to ride the scooter and then it came to the point where like I'm 10 years old this scooter is too tiny for me I'm just I can't ride this thing anymore and then but you weren't allowed to ride the bike no no wow and now I don't know how to ride a bike Oh no! <laughs> and now, now my mom's like, "Well, what if you're like on the beach and you're like trying to ride a bike and then a cute oh, guy comes bike to you. on well, the beach?" Mom, if you let me ride the bike when I was a kid, we wouldn't have this issue now. You ruined my life, mom. <sighs> yeah, that's it. Well, we're talking about horrible rules that we grew up with because a list of horrible rules came out of all <laughs> of what parents did to their uh, kids growing up and uh well i'm just gonna go through it because they're ridiculous uh number one a mom told her kids not to cover their mouth when they coughed or sneezed not to because she didn't want their hands to get dirty was that your mom elliot i had to yell, <laughs> I had to yell at him la- last week to cover his mouth yeah <laughs> sure did yep. uh number two a kid wasn't allowed to use the word Fart. He had to call them fluffs. Is that li- that's our station manager? <laughs> that's our station manager. <laughs> he literally hates that fluffy. word. Uh, <laughs> guys, I'm never, I'm guys, never I gonna just see fluffed. the word fluffy ever the same ever again. <laughs> now it's just fluffs. Guys, I just <laughs> guys, I just fluffed. Oh, you just fluffed. I oh, thought I was gonna. Fluffed. I thought I was gonna fluff before the Mario party, but <laughs> the it. Mario movie. Oh my mm-hmm. god! A kid's mom thought drinking more than one glass of water a day would dilate the nutrients in their body. So after one glass, they would have to drink seven up. 
that people are so funny. <laughs> Seven Up is so hyper thought, specific too. Yo, my we mom. We thought that we had bad rules growing up. But I don't know. Th- these rules are ridiculous. Uh, a guy's parents still enforce his bedtime when he was in his twenties. Justin, what? this sounds like you. Oh, um, he what? already had a friend's house for for his 21st birthday and had to call his dad at 8 p.m. to say he was going to bed. He secretly stayed up later than that. Mm. Yeah, because 8 p.m. is freaking crazy. Uh, this is, might be my favorite one. A very religious parent, uh, very religious parents wouldn't let their son watch SpongeBob SquarePants. What is it with Christian parents and SpongeBob? Because they thought the holes in SpongeBob's body would induce, quote, Lustful fuck. Wow. And they were right. I'll show you some videos. Oh my god. Surgeon General Warning. The Nassau Morning Madhouse contains 90.3 milligrams of laughter. But four out of five doctors say that it's good for you. 90.3 WHPC.